more and more men in Hollywood are coming out and sharing their stories of getting sexually assaulted or sexually harassed in the industry, which is good. Not good that they got sexually assaulted, but it's important for men to come out and speak about their experiences as well, because this is not an issue that only impacts women. Now, Kevin Sorbo, who politically speaking, I have no love for, recently shared how he was sexually harassed by Gianni Versace, who is no longer alive, he died. However, apparently Versace had not only sexually harassed him, but put his hands on Sorbo and he shared the story during a podcast with Adam Carolla. So here's what he had to say. All of a sudden, his hand goes up my leg and he says, dude, do you know I'm straight? And Versace allegedly responds to him by saying, this is why I like you. You're not a girly man, you are a man's man. In life, you must F everything. You must do the dog and the cat and the boy and the girl. Uh, agree to disagree. Yeah, you don't <laughs> have to do any of that. Yeah, um, I had a very unfortunate analogy that I'm going to now needlessly share with you and get myself in trouble. Um, you know, people will say like uh, forever, like ah, you just gotta try, you gotta try everything once. Yeah. I always thought, no, you don't. Uh, I've never had sex with a rhino. <laughs> I don't have to try that once to know that I'm not going to enjoy it. Right. Right. So no, you don't have to do the dog or the cat. And if you're Kevin Sorbo straight, he's straight, he doesn't have to do you. And of course, the much more important thing is again, the power dynamic. Versace had a very important modeling job that Sorbo could have gotten. This was earlier in his career, obviously, mm -hmm. when he was a model, before he even went on to acting. And I don't agree with Sorbo politically at all, mm -hmm. okay? And he said some things that really got under my skin, but that affects this story 0%. He's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And I and I generally definitely believe his allegations. Yeah, I I I lived in Miami when Versace did. Um, no, I'm sorry, he got shot right before I moved to Miami. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, and the stories were he had a house, a gorgeous house, right on Ocean Avenue, and it had like this giant telescope, and it was not for looking at the stars, but look for looking at young men at the beach, and then he would uh, pull them into his house, like get somebody uh, would come out and go. Gianni Versace would like to see you, right? Wow. Now, you didn't hear the rest of the story, but it's not surprising to hear that this is what would happen sometimes. Jeez, okay. Well, you know, again, I'm glad Sorbo shared, you know, his take because I think men are even less willing to come out and talk about their experiences mm -hmm. because, you know, it, it, there's even more stigma toward men who talk about it, right? They're supposed to be strong, they're supposed to like have no emotion. But no, they get victimized too and they should feel comfortable speaking out. So people are brought to justice. In this case, Versace won't be brought to justice. But it will at least open the door for other men who have had similar experiences in the industry. Now, he didn't end up getting that modeling deal because he didn't cave into you know these advances. So he talks about that a little bit as well. He said that Versace had booked me for his fashion shows, but I never got his campaign. But I knew the game, just like I know the game of Hollywood. Casting couches have always been around. I don't play that game, nor do I care to. As I've said before, I think this is actually tip of the iceberg. I don't know if we're ever gonna find out about the whole iceberg. but. In terms of men who abuse their power, who happen to be gay in Hollywood, because we found out about the men who are straight who have abused their power, mm -hmm. uh, but men are men, and so it is unlikely that uh, men who are attracted to other guys are somehow different than uh, men overall. Uh, and I have heard a lot of total rumors and nothing substantiated. If I knew, I'd tell you. But but uh, there's a constant chatter about. Uh, gay, uh, powerful uh, folks in Hollywood who've done this, and this is one. Now he's not exactly Hollywood Versace's fashion, right, etc. And I don't, by the way, it 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 is definitely not me saying that they that gay Hollywood is any different than straight Hollywood. My point is the exact opposite, mm -hmm. which is men are men, they're all the same. And so, if more stories like this came out, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and and in this case, he said no. Uh, you know. Anyway, but okay, so I have a very quick question to ask you. You say men are men, and I feel like that, and I know you don't mean to say this, which is why I want you to like clarify. It, 
That makes it seem like as soon as a guy is in a position of power, he's gonna abuse his power, which I don't think is true at all, right? I've come across a lot of powerful men who have never ever made me feel harassed or assaulted or anything like that. Um, it's just, I think the, the part of this that shocks even me is how incredibly commonplace it is in certain industries, not even in certain industries, probably in every industry, right? Like I think I underestimated how often this kind of stuff happens. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that most men are like this or all men are like this, not even close. I just think that we've underestimated just how many powerful people there are out there that take advantage of those that don't have as much power. Yeah, well, so that, let me be clear. Um, so, do I think all men are doing it right now? Of course not, right? Do I think a way higher percentage of women, uh, men in positions of power, did it earlier, 1960s, 70s, mm -hmm. etc.? Um, yes, I think we were naive in not realizing to what degree that happened before. Mm -hmm. And it is partly a dynamic of men because men are interested in sex more than women. I don't mean that I know that's a to totally gross generalization. I mean in this sense, mm -hmm. right? And and take all the generalizations for whatever you want, but it's not that women don't want to have sex, it's that they actually care to be attracted to men, right? In some way that is not just physical, right? Whereas men more often focus on the physical, both straight and gay men, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So they're like, okay, you're here, I have power over you, I'm interested in this. Mm -hmm. And and so there's the, that portion of it that it, re, it relates to men. The more important portion relates to power. And so however much power you have, and the reason that in the 60s, 70s, etc., they had more power is because women had in, incredible difficulty breaking into industries. There was almost no women in those industries. And in order to get past the gatekeepers, these guys had disproportionate power. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. The reason it happens more in Hollywood as well, and sometimes in politics, is because there is very few jobs in those industries. There's only a couple of dozen great acting jobs per year, especially in the old days, there were less movies that were being made. Yep. So, and, and same for fashion, same for music. And if you were a gatekeeper in that time, well, you know, you had this absolute power in a sense. And that is why now looking back at it, we shouldn't be surprised at how much it was abused. Yeah. Watch the Young Turks commercial free, download it or stream it, watch it any way you like at tytnetwork.com slash join.